So good morning. Welcome to Manchester Piccadilly train station. Just uh, 24 hours ago, on the other side of the Piccadilly Tavern, there was a very dramatic arrest of uh, two young men. There were reports of a problem with a sharp instrument and someone had a bit of a gash to their hand and uh, yeah there's videos on Instagram, TikTok of uh, armed police dressed like they're about to invade Mars, some sort of uh, interstellar space force. So much black because uh, the ultimate camouflage in space is black. Anyway, uh, they got arrested and uh, in the Manchester Evening News, all the eyewitnesses are saying, terrifying at uh, morning time, early morning, afternoon, people getting getting slashed early in the morning. Not good. So I'm in a cafe called Noops on Cross Street and I've just been scammed for a hot chocolate beverage. Yeah, it's a mocha, £5.30. Is it worth it? Um, it's nice, but it's not £5.30 nice. The innocent, the guilty, and their legal representatives arrive in the escalator play area. Here we have the lovely Toyota Corolla Estate uh, electric hybrid. And uh, it's the second best car I've ever rented after the Polestar 2, which I've just spent a week with. And uh, after having gone fully electric and enjoyed the power and the torque, I don't think I can go back to regular retarded combustion engines. They just seem so, so uh, 20th century. The cave, the cave complex for the underground subhumans in the Manchester Magistrates Court. Priority over oncoming vehicles, eh? And uh, we approach the Crown Court at the bottom there, where the neonatal nurse, Lucy Letby, her defense team are giving their closing arguments. bit of the old filmmaking going on here. At the Crown Court. Action. My advice to anyone watching this is that if you are invited into court, for whatever reason, you should put a suit on and uh, have a shave and a haircut. Um, it won't be detrimental to your defense to look good. That's all I'm saying. The prison vans, they all arrive with their prisoners for the magistrate's court.
Doc Martens have a special ad. Look at this, look at this thing. For uh, Pride. Um, she should maybe uh, focus on her cardiovascular health before she decides to uh, push the strange ideology of uh, being proud of something you didn't choose. You just are. Oh yeah, I'm proud, pr proud of it. Uh, I still stand by uh, the health risks of uh, morbid obesity. Um, we'll soon get rid of that pride. So uh, my advice is is to eat healthily and uh, exercise regularly. And who knows what uh, what heights you might achieve. Looking in a phone shop here, there's a Google Pixel display, and they have a spinning rubber, or what Google calls the magic eraser. And uh, legend has it that the blue bit can erase ink. Oh. I know how you feel, doggy. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here's everyone's absolute favorite bus service, the rail replacement outside Manchester Victoria Station. Ay, ay, ay. Here's another one. And here's a nice fetching double decker, diamond bus rail replacement. And that awkward moment when your rail replacement bus breaks down alongside, alongside the trains it was here to replace. Look at that. So blah, 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 blah. Withdrawal of implied permission. Notice. Rainbow burst ring. Well, uh, if people have too much pride, there's gonna be a lot more burst rings by the end of the month. This bee looks like uh, it wants to abduct me and uh, put a probe up my bum. And remember guys, there are no spacemen. There are only demons. Oh God, don't do it, dude. Don't speak to me. Don't do it. I'm very well, thank you. How are you? Why do you ask, sir? Why do you ask? Why do you ask? Yes. It's just unusual to see people coming around with their cameras. I disagree. It's a beautiful station. It's a, a British country. We have every right to. Yes, but um, no. We, 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 before we carry on, I, I'm not interested in answering questions to people I don't know. I'm sorry, sir. Um, I'm, I'm just here doing stuff. But uh, not a terrorist. Name's Charlie Veach. I do YouTube. Now uh, that's fine. Thank you, mate. All the best. Cheers. And uh, just like the British Health Service, the uh, railway service is an absolute tragedy these days. Just buy a bloody sandwich like everyone else. You don't need to drink the slop, eat the bugs, live in the pod. Just, just buy a bloody sandwich. Well now, um, headline today, Hancock's COVID inquiry, body bags are higher priority than virus. God, I hate them all so much. Little memorial outside Victoria Station for a girl called Georgina, who was murdered by those deranged scum um, at the arena bombing six years ago. And uh, yeah, people don't forget, but do they forgive? The Meccano set apartments built above Victoria Station, at least they have balconies. Oh, hi. You're not us, are you? Yeah, 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 it's getting a few shots. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh just for fun. Just, uh, there's no reason. Nothing to worry about. Not, a, not a terrorist. Just getting some shots. I like construction. You know, typical man. I have a good vantage point. 
We're here on a car ramming of peace barrier. How's it going? Oh, don't don't rock it! I'll fall off. Ah, oh, you won't fall off. <laughs> hey, what, you what seven tons? Hey, two and a half. <laughs> two and a half tons. And a half. <laughs> Thank you. Hello. Don't See all that blue on the side of that tall one? All solar panels. And do they still work? Of course not. They don't do anything. Hey guys, that looks like a nice atrium. What? Even from out here, it's okay. Yeah, it is. Ah, uh, mate, you shouldn't say things you don't know about. I'm an expert on photography law. You shouldn't um, say it not allowed when it is allowed. Sorry? No one dangerous, just me. I'm not dangerous. But I don't want to get you guys in it, so I just need a couple of shots of the, from here. I don't want to get you guys in it, so. Yeah, yeah, but if you could please excuse me just for a second, I'll. I'll get the shots. They'll say it's okay because I'm on the public street. They won't mind. Yeah, they won't mind. You don't need to radio it in there. But dude, I'm not in there. I'm, I'm in the public street. Oh, I see. As long as... Yeah, he's allowed. Thank you very much. No worries. Yeah, you're just covering, as you say, just in case they're like, why was that guy? Why did you not confront him or that? Yeah. I understand. But could I go and have a quick look? No. Oh. You know what? You can look, but don't take pictures. You can look. We'll just do a simple one. Can I just go just at the next double door and just go up? Because it's the architecture. It's the, it's the art. Thank you. Thank you. Look at that. That's mighty fine. Hey, my mate Jimmy's on probation. He's not allowed to. He's not allowed to have a drink anywhere near a city centre. Eh? Jimmy, he's on probation, man. He's not doing well. But I'm just covering a story for him. Jimmy, eh? Ah, you wouldn't know him. McKechnie, Jimmy McKechnie. No, no. Is your name Jimmy? So Jimmy McKechnie, there was an incident with a. A seal at the zoo and the bottle of vodka. It was Grant's, no, Glenn's vodka, and he stuck it up the seal's arse. And since then, he got a, he's got to go meet his probation officer every couple of weeks. He's he's no doing well. In fact, it's one of these ladies, I'm sure. It's one of these ladies. Maybe the the purple haired one doing there. <laughs> All right, ladies, go easy on Jimmy McKechnie. He's he's a good boy. He didn't do nothing. He didn't do. Oh, it's for a it's for a personal thing. It's nothing personal, oh, don't we? Oh, it's nothing. Oh, hi. You know, don't have to take picture of this building. Oh, I do. It's England, and it's free no, here. Yeah. Please. No, but sir, do you, do you know it's fine? No, this is government office. That's fine. I pay tax for the government, so it's okay. It's okay. Can you come down? Oh, you don't need to get a deal. Not allowed, madam. Don't say the two magic words. Not allowed. Can you come down, please? Oh. Not you stop, stop filming, stop filming. No, but I'm a free man. Free and I can, man. Free but man. It's a government building. That's fine, it's not, it's not yeah, special. No, it's not fine. It's not MI6 or MI5. Have you taken pictures of that gentleman there? Madam, I, I don't see I'm why... You're not allowed to take pictures of people. It is allowed. How is it allowed? I've not given you permission. But you, you don't... You were walking out that door and you took a picture. Madam, I... I didn't give you my permission to take a picture. Well, that's just he the way it is. It's not the way it is. You know, it is the way it is. Taking, what, this is my face and my body. And yeah, sure. You can call the police. Right, that's fine. At the end of the day, you shouldn't be doing it. 
Um, I disagree, madam. And if you no, if you knew a little disagree, bit, but I'll tell you by law you're not supposed to be doing it. What law? What law? Because you're supposed to at somebody if you're going to take a picture. Uh, no. No, you don't no. think so. No, I know, I know so. I. You don't. Yeah, call the police. I know so. Calling the police or go now. Stay here and wait for the police. Say. Madam, why why are you giving me orders like you're some sort of like authority? No, we're not giving you orders, people. Stop taking the picture of me. Well, stop giving me orders, madam, and I'll happily. No, because he's upsetting them. I'm not upsetting anyone. I'm doing a thing for my mate Jimmy McKechnie. Well, why don't you all leave me alone? I'm not in your building. You're not Jimmy McKechnie. You were on my side until these guys. Now you no, you won't, mate. Don't be such a fucking. Yeah, Charlie. Charlie Veach. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Move now. Mate, I'm not interested. I'm not here to take orders from I'll anyone. Take your fucking camera off your ass. No, you won't. Stick it up your ass. No, you won't, mate. You don't want to make threats. If you're on probation already, I wouldn't. I wouldn't make threats, what? mate, because it's being recorded. What are you going to do? No, it's not what I'm going to do. It's what the British state's going to do to you. I'm going to do to you. Leave it, leave it, mate. Yeah. Um, you shouldn't. Threats to violence can be an offence, my dear man. <laughs> anyway, um, name's Charlie Veach. Uh, it's not. I'm not a terrorist or anything. But um, I just find the the lady with the black jacket very offensive, giving me orders and things. Mate, that is so rude. Don't come to me with your general yokelism insulting my accent. Jesus. There you go. You know what? <laughs> That's Manchester all for you. Nah, it's not. There's friendly people in Manchester, mate. I've met them. Well, you're coming to the wrong fucking place to fucking... I've just come out of prison, you dickhead. Well, you don't want to go back in then, do you? <laughs> all right. Hey, all right. So uh, one of the security guards was actually quite reasonable and fine. And uh, in, our in our hostage negotiations between the Wagner PMC and the Kremlin, oh, I, I don't know this gentleman. Hello. The gentleman, we, we negotiated and he said, if you stand at the bottom of the steps, they might get less upset. And so we negotiated. He's a very friendly gentleman. Hello. But anyway, I'm going to have a conversation off camera because a very friendly man's arrived. Air oh, English summer. Very nice. Well, the, uh, the uh, detritus of Babylon you see here is a graffiti artist's interpretation of the top G feminist, Emmeline Pankhurst, who was big about 100 years ago, 110, 120 years ago. She's putting a crown on with an orange halo as she stands above a, a, a Cupra vehicle that looks just like a Peugeot 206, 208, crashing on its side. It says, I, seal of Satan, seal of Lucifer, Manchester. And on the right, it has a Greek statue wearing a VR headset below the uh, clock tower of Manchester City Hall underneath a, a song thrush with a modern version of a B. Now, uh, I guess this is to make ladies by Cupras. Well, if you want to know where I got this t-shirt, go to wideawake.clothing. So in here, they have quite a nice rendition of Perseus and Medusa. I'll see if I can find it. Check this out. Perseus is now wearing eyeshadow and has dyed his hair green. And Medusa is now the former Prime Minister, Theresa May. Okay. Let's just say that if the neonatal nurse, who is currently in the Crown Court, accused of seven murders and ten more attempted murders of babies, 
if she is convicted, uh, I don't think this mural here will age very well. It's an absolute mystery here. That's a jewellery shop. That's a bar. That's a jewellery shop. I don't know what that is. But over here, you have a look. Clark's Brothers. Here, uh, right in the city, uh, city centre, northern quarter. The rent and the business rates here will be very expensive. Yet, Clark's Brothers sells little stickers and labels and uh, tags and tagging apparatus. For example, look at that. An old stapler stapler gun and maybe some uh, felt tip pens or some signs for your, for your pub and I want to sorry I'm just doing a video about this shop oh, do you know anything about it uh, like no, how does it survive here oh is it I thought it was a money laundering operation because sure how do they make a profit to pay the rent selling sale signs but does it do a roaring trade it must be busy the guy, like, he might, like, hand the receipt for you. Oh, does he? Oh, definitely. Uh, no, a alleged money laundering. If I say it is, you can sue me. But uh, no, thanks for that. Well, there you go. See, I'm not the only person that's, uh, that's a bit, you know, surprised by... I mean, what, what do you want? A plastic seagull. That's not going to pay the rent. What do you want? A little plastic banner say, long live the king. Next to special offers in a 1980s font. I don't get it. How does Clark's Brothers stay in business? It just doesn't make any sense. Here we are looking at uh, Fierce Beer, and their, their logo is the hops. They have the flag, and it's actually the hops, which uh, simulates the female hormones, giving you the uh, craft beer enthusiast look. Uh, that's so popular, all you need then is the, the leg tattoos, and you can pull it off. So uh, I think the surveyors are in town again. Let's see what we've got over here. Let's go see what Laser Man's doing. Tracked by Trimble. Looks scary. Hey, Laser Man, how are you? Has the ground subsided at all since the last time you were here? Keeping it, keeping it under wraps. No worries. Well, good luck. Thank you. It's always confused me, because I always worry about the the mechanics of the thing that takes the like how do you know that it's the thing that you're starting from hasn't oh I see it's got a system that nice one no oh, cool it knows where you are does it know where it is it knows where it is brilliant cool good luck thank you very much man all the best reference points so just here in the northern quarter there's quite a large housing estate all these red brick modern ones around me here. I'd say a couple hundred houses here in the absolute smack bang center of Manchester. Like it doesn't get more north, it doesn't get more central than Tib Street right there. Tib Street Tavern in the northern quarter. Literally minutes away, less than 10 minutes away from uh, Piccadilly Gardens. And I found Britain's most patriotic, king loving guy. Here we go. Look at that. Don't know how much I'm into flags these days. The uh, Occupation LG TV flag has ruined my love of flags. Here's me thinking I should maybe join the outdoor camera club. It sounds like something that would be right up my street. Whole bunch of tourists down the little side street here in the northern quarter. The tour guide has said, come back ladies, come back. It's a graffiti of a cat and a rat. It's the little northern hotel. It's all going on. Tourists love it. Oh, grimy Manchester. It's so industrial. Nice microphone cover. Oh, cheers, man. I Thank think you. you've been on it. Have I? Probably. Yeah, yeah I think you have. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right, everybody. We're back with Good Value Granny here in the Northern Quarter. She said that. I'm bleeding cheek. I'm not an old granny yet. No. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, so what do you say to people that are bad tempered and walk around being miserable? That's up to them. Yeah, but don't you want to chop their cocks off or anything? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Don't forget to get the shopping. The what is it? The rustica. Do they do a good sandwich in there, do they? Yeah, they do. Nice one. How's your doggy anyway? And the nice girls and all. Nice one. Good stuff. Pretty reasonable. Pretty reasonable. Yeah. That's good. That's good. That's all you ever want to put it. I will. You know where to come. Thank you. And what's your name? Your first name? My name's Sue. Sue. Thanks, Sue. I'm Charlie. It's a pleasure filming you Charlie. again. Charlie. You see that little dog of mine? I'm going to cut its cock off. You're going to cut its cock off? Yeah, because it's a little. Is he? Well, don't you usually chop their balls off if they get a bit? Or you could you could um you could circumcise the dog. No, he's a little bugger. Is he a little bugger? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I love him to bits. Yeah. You know when we had that bad rain, I'm telling this gentleman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When we had that bad rain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to cover him up. Yeah, yeah. Don't like the rain. No, of course. Get so that before I could dry him off. You don't know me, jumped on me, bleeding, oh, oh, my, I tell you, they go, oh, What a little shit, you should definitely <laughs> chop his bollocks off. I dragged him off, <laughs> give him something the next minute. You want to be in my flat there, he's like that. Oh. Snoring his little head I want you by my side. <laughs> Fucking hell, guys, try to do a video here, you noisy bastards. <laughs> I like a t-shirt. Is that if I get a quick... Okay. Wait, look at that. And just for that, uh, you go from there to... Are you a communist? <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> well, uh, no, because I like food. I'm not a communist because I like to have food. As far as recruitment adverts go to be a bus driver, this is probably the best one I've seen. It's uh, using the Top Gun font. The guy's wearing gold-rimmed aviators. He's dressed like a pilot. And of course, the logo there is very Top Gun. And, uh, yeah. I just noticed he's kissing his dog tags because he's got a drive through Rochdale and Oldham later and he's just making sure that his uh, family gets uh, his remains in a, in a body bag. So, uh, <laughs> poor guy. Hiding behind the Royal Mail van is one of the 4x4 Skodas with the red asterisk. It's the armed police. Can you see them down there next to the House of Fraser? Center image now. I wonder if they ever get bored. Okay, this is spinning fields. Behind me is the Ivy. This is uh, number three Hardman Street for the Hardman. Here's a BMW M5 competition. 20 Yaba, 20 YB license plate. When you need to move five people at 155 miles an hour with a, yeah, anyway, it's a nice car. But uh, I think there's uh, some sort of convention going on here. A lot of people wearing name tags. This building has been of interest to me during the pandemic because obviously it's uh, the Manchester office over two floors of the General Medical Council. And it's also Barclays Bank in there. But uh, again, I, uh, my last bit of hope that maybe we weren't a corrupt country was smashed because uh, money corrupts and massive big pharmaceutical companies can corrupt massively as well okay well this lad's brave he's on double yellows without a uh, disabled badge which would give him some protection against the not allowed certificate givers 718 spider looks quite nice never seen one before now I have I think there's another theater company here yeah, there's always some filming going on in Manchester. It's a bit of a film set. 
the council has had an application to shut down all these parking bays. As you can see, the yellow parking suspension, no loading, no parking, because from the 8th of June, they're going to be, uh, well, this one's maintenance works, but, but uh, as you can see straight, hello, someone knows my name. Hello, how's it going? You're right. Oh, good. Just getting my shots. So uh, they also shut it down for the companies here to do the filming. Here's a facilities ultra bus. And what, what's the deal on this tree? I will find out for my viewers what's going on. Remember guys, no hate mail, okay? No, no hate mail. Can't believe they make them pedal, look. Poor guy, they just give him a golf cart, but no, they make him pedal. Jeff Bezos. <laughs> All the film and TV people are arriving. This is St. John's Street, it's a very nice Georgian uh, buildings and I reckon they're going to be using it as a film set for something. And as you can see, it's all, it's all going on. All going on! Alright, so um, I'll send these guys up with uh, Dom now and then I'll send you and grab our box and pick Long-term viewers will remember the madness in there. Uh, with the crystal maze and the man who uh, really did not want me to film the papier-mâché cave. <laughs> being pulled out of the back of a pickup. Yep, it's as crazy as it sounds. Here you're looking at a building here on Great John Street. There's a silver plaque that says Great John Street Hotel, but I don't recall this ever being a hotel. Maybe they tried, but not yet. Maybe COVID, covid it, effed it. Chance, yeah, that's me. Yeah, yeah, mate, yeah. honestly, I'm Charlie. Seen, yeah, yeah, Charlie, pleasure, mate. My name's Thank Jake. You. I've seen hey, videos Thanks, so much. Man. You've got good man. taste, man. I appreciate yeah, it. <laughs> <laughs> the, the funny, mate. And I like, I like the, uh, yeah. the environment around, man. It's pretty cool. No, I appreciate cool. that. Yeah, no. it's awesome. Thanks, Have you got your Jake. own page or anything on Instagram or Facebook? Or anything oh, yeah, like Instagram, just Charlie Veach. Charlie Veach. Yeah, yeah, and on YouTube, Charlie Veach. I'm, I'm very small on Twitter, but um, yeah. I recognize your face so much then, man. I was like, thanks, dude. Yeah. Charlie, how you spell Veach? V E I T C H. V E I T C H, yeah? Yeah. Charlie and that's Beach. me with a the face there, that's the Top one. Top guy with a face, yeah? Well, Thanks, pleasure, Jay. mate. Absolutely. Take pleasure, care. Man. Well, thank yourself. you. No, Appreciate it. Mate. Thanks, man. See you soon. Take man. care. See ya. <laughs> Big props to Jake. Big smile. Good handshake. Genuine warmth. And he just added me on Instagram. So thank you, Jake. Hope you have a good day. Everyone's standing by for the Black Cone event. It's uh, more serious than the Black Swan event. It's going to bring down the Nasdaq, the Dow Jones, the FTSE, the Nikkei, the Hang Seng, uh, the Frankfurt DAX, and the Paris CAC. It's all over, guys. Okay, well, the big air conditioning units on the side of the Crown Court are blasting. Looks like a carburetor. It's uh, upside down V-shaped air conditioning units with all the pumps and compressors and wires. And you have to wonder, why can they not cool down the courts properly? Look. Is that my taxpayer's money being wasted? These boys are all looking at me, looking at me. I'm gonna do a auditing Britain line here. Hey guys, can I get a tour inside the court? A little tour around the court, please. Okay, all credit, I'm gonna pay him his royalties. It's uh, an auditing Britain style thing. Can I get a tour around the building, but no. Don't know. What a bloody mess. Now check out, they've had to chop away at the side of the building to get the, to get the pipes in, look.
Not that a wheelchair could get up the, the thing, but look, they've put a wooden block here for the wires. Sorry, can I help you? Do I, no, I don't need help. I'm fine, thank you. Can we just ask what you're doing? Yeah. I don't think it's any of your business, madam. Well, it, it is. is. We work, we work here. here and this uh, is uh, building. Well, I'm sorry to break your right illusion, right. my delusional female friends, but we're outside the court. Oh, a toxic male. Lovely. I'll speak with security. You do that, madam. A toxic male. Thank you for judging me. Keep smoking those cigarettes. It'll make your voice sound really nice. <laughs> As I was saying, these air conditioning units still causing trouble over here. And uh, they've spoken to this guy, but he, he wasn't interested in the ladies who called me a toxic male. A toxic male. That's a badge of honor nowadays. Ideologically driven judgments are not welcome out here in public. Inside the court, I'm sure you're a very powerful barrister or court clerk. I am, yes. But out here... Uh, uh, we were only asking why you were taking photographs. None of your business. It's a free country. It's not British. It's not British to go up to people asking them what they're doing. Do you ask every tourist walking past doing a story about the air conditioning? Uh, you know, yeah, yeah. And here's the thing, madam. If you guys genuinely thought I was a terrorist or doing, you wouldn't have spoken to me. You just took an opportunity. Bye, bye. Thank you. Yeah, they know.